The celestial angel who accompanies our beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is known as the angel of mercy and rain, tasked with controlling natural phenomena by the command of Allah. This is Michael, peace be upon him, who, with a secret upon his head, fulfills the mission of distributing sustenance to all creatures under the dominion of the heavens. Michael, peace be upon him, is also the commander of the angels, and his name, mentioned in the Quran and the Hadiths, holds many wonders which we will explore today. If you are ready to learn more about this powerful angel who governs from above, let us begin. For millennia, humans have wondered if they are alone in the vast universe, or if there are celestial and spiritual beings inhabiting it. Among these beings, Mikhail, peace be upon him, is one of the four great angels responsible for managing weather phenomena and providing sustenance that Allah, exalted be he, has destined for all creatures on earth, from humans to animals and plants. This angel has been tasked with ensuring survival and balance on earth. The climate and everything related to it are under his watch. Mikhail, peace be upon him, is also the celestial minister assigned to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In a noble hadith, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Every prophet has been given a minister in the heavens and two on earth. My ministers in the heavens are Jibril and Mikhail, and my ministers on earth are Abu Bakr and Umar. Have you ever heard about the first encounter between Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Angel Mikhail, peace be upon him? It all happened on the night of Ezra and Miraj, when the Prophet, under the guidance of Jibril, peace be upon him, ascended to the heavens, visiting each of its levels and witnessing what was happening there. Upon reaching the sixth heaven, the Prophet first met Prophet Musa, peace be upon him. After conversing with him, the Prophet continued his heavenly journey and then met Mikhail, peace be upon him. Mikhail, peace be upon him, was sitting on a majestic throne before a balance so large it seemed to encompass the sky and the earth. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, approached Mikhail and offered him a greeting of peace. Mikhail responded with a supplication for the Prophet, peace be upon him, to which the Prophet responded with Amin. Angel Mikhail added, The goodness destined for your community will not be granted to any other. The balance of your nation will be heavier than that of others. At that moment, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, noticed a multitude of angels beside Mikhail. Peace be upon him. These angels, under his guidance, approached the Prophet and said, We are at your service, fulfilling the orders of Allah and sending blessings upon you long before the creation of the first human and up until now. Every drop of rain and every snowflake is under the responsibility of a specific angel. Once an angel completes their task, they never repeat it until the Day of Judgment. This fact highlights the vast number of angels working under the supervision of Mikhail, peace be upon him, reflecting the power and wisdom of Allah. The size and complexity of this system surpass human comprehension. The creation of Allah is immeasurable, and the number of angels is beyond what we can conceive. Amid this encounter, something caught the Prophet's attention. Mikhail, peace be upon him, was not smiling. Intrigued, the Prophet asked Jibril, Peace be upon him. O oh, Jibril, why does Mikhail never smile? Jibril explained, Since the day the fire of hell was lit, Mikhail has not smiled again. A fact about Mikhail, Peace be upon him, is mentioned in the Hadiths. When Prophet Muhammad, Peace be upon him, was speaking to a group of Jews, they asked him who brought him the revelation. The Prophet responded that it was Jibril, Peace be upon him. The faces of the Jews hardened as they considered Mikhail an angel of mercy, while they saw Jibril as the angel who brought calamities. They viewed him as their enemy, believing he had helped in the destruction of their kingdom when Nebuchadnezzar invaded Jerusalem. Following this dialogue, Allah revealed a verse to the Prophet, Whoever is an enemy of Allah, his angels, his messengers, Jibril and Mikhail, let him know that Allah is the enemy of the disbelievers. Michael, 
Peace be upon him, is a figure of great significance for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, being one of his celestial ministers. In addition to his role in natural phenomena, his supervision of the rain is a testament to the power of Allah. Rain, a divine gift, is a display of his mercy, granted to all, whether believers or non-believers, rich or poor. Allah says in the Quran, he is the one who sends down water from the sky in a precise measure. This reminds us that every drop of rain is calculated with divine wisdom. Throughout time, humanity has developed technologies that allow the creation of artificial clouds and even induce rain, but these advancements are minuscule compared to the immense natural system that Allah, through Mikhail, peace be upon him, has established. Countless cubic meters of water float in the atmosphere, suspended without chaos, and then descend drop by drop without colliding with one another. If all the water were to fall at once, it would cause unimaginable devastation. However, the perfection of Allah's system ensures that the raindrops fall gently, cushioned by the friction of the atmosphere, reducing their speed to a safe level. Michael, peace be upon him not only oversees the rain, but also has authority over fire, as demonstrated in the famous incident with Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, when he was thrown into the fire by the tyrant Nimrod. Michael could have extinguished the fire by making it rain on him, but he did not act until Allah gave the order. The Quran narrates how Allah commanded the fire, O fire, be coolness and safety for Ibrahim, and the fire became harmless to him. Although Mikhail, peace be upon him, is primarily in charge of natural phenomena and providing sustenance to Earth's creatures, he also watches over the prophets, particularly Muhammad, peace be upon him. During the Battle of Ubud, it is said that Mikhail, along with Jibril, peace be upon him, was present, dressed in white, and protecting Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with all his power. Likewise, in the historic Battle of Badr, Mikhail was one of the angels who contributed to the Muslims' victory. A hadith recounts that Mikhail was one of the commanders of the celestial army sent in support of the believers at Badr. The Prophet, peace be upon him, would mention Mikhail in his supplications after each prayer. Additionally, some sources claim that the preserved tablet, or Allah al mafuz in which everything is recorded until the Day of Judgment, is guarded by the angels Israfil and Mikhail, peace be upon them, in the seventh heaven. Above Mikhail's head, peace be upon him, is inscribed the Ism Allah Al-Azam, the supreme name of Allah. Without this name, the reigns would not obey his command, just as the angel of death cannot take a soul without Allah's authorization. Jibril, peace be upon him, could not travel between the heavens and the earth without having the supreme name of Allah inscribed on his wing. He, exalted be he, provides sustenance for all creatures, whether visible or invisible, and it is Michael, peace be upon him, who is responsible for distributing this sustenance, ensuring that no creature is left unattended. From the smallest beings to the largest on the planet, each consumes the portion that has been decreed for them. When the sustenance of a creature is exhausted, it marks the end of its life on earth, according to the will of Allah. Whether it's a bacterium or a massive animal, every living being receives its share of sustenance, and this is distributed daily right after the Phaedra prayer. Mikhail, peace be upon him, carries out this task with precision that surpasses human understanding. His work is a testament to the mercy of Allah who has created a perfect system to sustain all forms of life. When we reflect on humanity's attempts to intervene in these processes through technology, we see a fascinating but uncertain advance. We venture into unknown territories without fully understanding the repercussions of our actions on Allah's creation. For example, the introduction of technologies like 5G emits frequencies that may affect life in ways we do not yet fully comprehend. Similarly, genetic manipulation of living beings, such as mosquitoes, raises questions about consequences we cannot yet foresee. We also attempt to alter natural phenomena by creating artificial clouds, inducing rain, and even emulating suns, 
all under the argument of climate change. These kinds of interventions, though driven by good intentions, remind us of the greatness of Allah's creation and how much we still need to learn about the balance He has established in the universe. We live in an era where we are willing to sacrifice countless animals or cut down large areas of forests to build new urban developments under the belief that climate change, such as the melting of glaciers, will inevitably affect us. However, we must remember that we are neither alone nor abandoned in this world. Even though some may try to alter the natural order of things, in the end, everything depends on the will of Allah. If He decides something, His word alone is sufficient. B. And it is, whether it be for punishment or for renewal, everything is under His control and wisdom. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us that whoever facilitates a good deed on the path of Allah will receive a portion of the reward, and whoever participates in an evil deed will also bear a portion of the sin. Allah observes everything we do and gives each one what they deserve according to their actions. Therefore, I invite you to join our community and subscribe, helping us spread this message to more people, including those who do not yet know Islam but who, with Allah's guidance, may be inspired to embrace the faith. Remember that whoever facilitates a good action receives the same reward as the one who carries it out. If I have made any mistakes in my words, I ask for your understanding and apologies. These errors are mine and do not represent Islam or the words of Allah. I hope we meet again in a new video. Until then, may Allah protect you and grant you peace.